Hello, this is Bilal Siddiqui and you're watching Quabga Library Project. Uh, today we are officially going to start the Quran by M.A.S. Abdul Halim, uh, which is an English translation. Uh, so just to start off, uh, I would not like to explain uh, some things at this point that uh, the videos are going to be uh, numbered in a very um, structured manner. So the first number, which will be after the hashtag, uh, would be the juz so that's the bigger section of the quran so quran has 30 juz so if i just uh, make it clear to you so juz which is the bigger section there are 30 of these so the first number would be so after the hashtag for example if it's one so that means it would be from the juz 1 to 30 right and after the after a period I will put, be putting another number, for example, if I put 1, this is for the, you can say, surah, okay, so this is another part of the whole Quran, so there are 114 surahs, right, so there are 114 sections, 114 chapters, you can say, so surah or chapter, and after that, there would be another number which would typically be of the verse so the verse or ayah you can say right so this would be for example today if we do like five ayahs or five verses so we i'd be writing one like five so if i clear it out uh, for this um Um, for this particular, you can say, for this particular video, so in the first chapter, which is the opening, there are only seven, you can say, ayahs, right? So if I was to name this video, I would be naming, so this is just one. Surah 1 and since it's a very small surah you can say so I'd be naming it like this so this this is just just for scrolling purposes this is just for like finding purposes and uh, exploring so you always know where to go so if you go in the playlist you would be actually uh, be heading over and trying to find something of this sort right so we'll officially start now with the first chapter which is so we'll officially start now the first chapter which is the opening right so now we'll change to highlighter okay the opening the surah is seen to be a precise table of content the chronic message the very important islamic worship being an obligatory part of the daily prayer repeated several times during the day so this needs to be understood that this first chapter or this first surah i can say is read daily by every single muslim in their five prayers so there are five prayers every single day and there are numerous times when this uh, ayah is recited in arabic of course not in english so this is like the primary or fundamental uh, you can say surah uh, of the entire quran for any muslim in any part of the world right so this is one of the most important surahs just want to highlight that so Let's start off in the name of God, the Lord of mercy, the giver of mercy. So there's a difference in that. We will be reading from the index. Uh, praise belongs to God, Lord of the world, the Lord of mercy, the giver of mercy. Master of the day of judgment. It is you we worship. It is you we ask for help. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those you have blessed, those who incur no anger and who have not gone astray. So. Uh, you can you can realize that this is we talking to God rather than God talking to us. So uh, this is us making a plea towards God, asking for forgiveness, asking for guidance, asking for not going astray. So we start off. They start started off with um, sending out like this message of uh, praise of God, and then 
he asked for his help so this part is asking asking for help right so if we just read out so this a1 that is uh, here which is lord of mercy so most, most of the this term rahman in the quran are the in the context of him being mighty and majestic as well as merciful the addition of the word lord here is intended to convey this aspect of the term um the be the giver this term rahim so there are two things there is like rahman and rahim this term rahim is an intensive form suggesting that the quality of giving mercy is inherent in god's nature so there's c this is the only instance where this formula present at the start of every surah but one is counted as the first number verse only the first number verse the arabic root this is now we are on d lord of the worlds so the arabic root rub has connotations of caring and nurturing in addition to lordship and this should be borne in mind whenever the term occurs and is rendered lord um then there is e which is the world so al alamin in arabic means all the worlds of mankind the angels animals plants the skull the necks and so forth so now there is f Note that the verb here is not attributed to God, right? To those who incur no anger and who have not gone astray. So this needs to be understood that um, those you have blessed and those who incur anger. So, uh, and it's very amazing that it, it is not attributed to God because it is like they did it themselves. So God wants to love them, but they did it themselves that they are they have done things to make someone angry and who have gone astray who went astray their own self so god had no intention of making them go astray so that needs to be understood to that right um very amazing okay so that that would be it for this chapter um see you in the next video thank you